We are back here on Girl Talk, and Allison Fargione is still with us. We're talking about some great furniture designs that she does. Al Harry Furniture Design is right down on Calhoun Street in Bluffton, and it's just your work is amazing. Thank Every you. time yeah. we talk about your pieces, they just Thanks. pop with inspiration. We were talking color. We're talking today to chest of drawers and some right. some mm -hmm. options that are available out there and not just thinking, you know, bedroom necessarily. Right. I mean, for everyone them. Is, has some type of chest of drawers and the um you don't, like you said, you don't have to just put it in a bedroom and throw your clothes in it. There's so many ways you can use it mm -hmm. in like an unusual spot. And so the first one I did was um, a refinished piece. And it was just your typical tall dresser. And the client needed a spot in their bathroom for extra storage. It was like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Oh, okay. And so instead of doing a standard, you know, bathroom built-in vanity, we got the um, chest of drawers and we pulled the color from, there's a little diamond in the tile floor that's this color. So oh, we nice. pulled it from there and the fabric has this color in it. And then just to kind of add some pizzazz, we added the, you know, I love my caning and my beading. That so adds such a beautiful yeah, texture it, it completely it. changed it. Beautiful. So we added all this and I found some great knobs at World Market. I mean, they're so reasonable. Yeah. That does it, the knobs. And mm -hmm. you can store towels in there, you know. I like the little piece clothing. in the center. Just yeah, the, well, and that kind of little... connected it. So it's trying to find like a little focal point, you know, to separate all the crossbars and so stuff So this like was that. plain before. This looked like Absolutely this. Absolutely plain. Wow. Oh Unbelievable. My gosh. Yeah. And it's, it's so functional, you know? Like you said, it gives you so much storage, makes it really practical yeah. for, you know, like you said, towels or sheets or And it just filled, it filled or... the space nicely, you know? And then the next one I did was um, I had gotten this dresser from somebody. It pretty much was the same shape and size. And so I wanted to do something that had like a coastal cottage feel to it and I thought it'd be great for a guest room. So we layered it with um, blues and greens. And again, I found some great knobs from Anthropology, pretty close to that. And then I added this really pretty shell pattern to it. And so the person who bought it actually put it in a house on Wilmington Island in um, North Carolina. Where do you get your inspiration? Like, how, how do you know exactly what to do for them? Do you sit and have a consultation or they just kind of give you free reign to do whatever? Well, for this one, it was definitely, um, you know, it had to fit a space. So we started where for it was going to go. Piece. It yeah. had to match the, you know, kind of the flat um, floor and the fabric. The other one, I just said, I'm going to try something with shells. And that's how that started. And I just loved the colors are these beautiful deep blues and greens. And it was kind of funny, the person who bought it actually put it where I thought I would have oh, put it. Oh, it matched, you know? it was meant to be. I love yeah. it, and that one was called Scout. That was right. Scout, and that's in a beautiful marsh view. And then the other one was a dresser I bought from a client who um, I did other furniture for. The and before it, of this is yeah. just, it takes it, me it, back it, to like yes. 1970s. I think everybody like had this dresser growing up. You guys <laughs> probably not, but I do. Everyone had this in their home. <laughs> And so I wanted to do something really bold. And so the color is just so beautiful. I mean, you and, want to talk an after shot. It's I know. It's so beautiful. It's really funny. And so I found these really pretty kind of like French flowers that I put on it and um, crystal knobs. And we did the really pretty blue finish. And I, the person that bought it, I think it went in the foyer. Oh, That's nice. Great. That's perfect. Yeah. And so you can put anything in there. And do you replicate pieces when you've made like Scout for somebody? If one of your other customers later on uh, sees that and says, can you make that for me too? You yeah, won't. I mean, I can definitely re replicate the finish and the pattern on there. And if I can't find something like that, I could have it built for you. Right. So, but that, those are um, pieces that are old, you know, that we redone. They've but... got a whole new breath, yeah. like their new breath so, of fresh yeah, air. I mean, it just, do something different. And with pieces like that, you can really have fun with color. The Hunter piece is a, now that's a That's custom. a brand new that's piece. A, yeah, you all that, built that. And that's like your typical shaker shape, but just adding the beading to it and the really pretty um, design in the center and keeping it different shades of gray that we were mm -hmm. talking about. It just changes the whole Gray is the it. new beige, right? Yeah. I'm really, it goes with everything. It really does. And it's just fun, you know? Well, this, I mean, these pieces really reflect your 
creativity and just your, oh my gosh, your, your artistic your talent. ability. Seriously. I would never be able to do that. And you really, you really couldn't them. be in a better industry because it seems like people kind of steered away from furniture for a while and got like customized closets and drawers right. and it's all coming back. Yeah, you I mean, know? just doing something unusual and out, outside the box and everything doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. Right, yeah. and that's what we, you were talking off camera, like using this as your pop of color yeah. in your room. And it's just and one piece. You don't want to do your whole house like right. that. Right. Then you kind of lose the whole point of having Something a special, special piece. Yeah. 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 yeah, Allison, as always, thank well, you thanks. so much. And find her, again, on Calhoun Street, downtown Bluffton. The, it is filled with inspiration. And if you're not quite sure even what to do or where to start, go see Allison and she'll help guide you through the whole process. Stay with us. We have more to come here on Girl Talk.